hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is the deliciousness i will be cooking so let's get started these are all of the ingredients you will need so you have some red potatoes some stew meat one onion beef broth heavy whipping cream and some carrots we also have some Brussels sprouts and some rice. So first things first, I am preheating my pans and I'm gonna add some butter to each one of my pans. One pan is going to be for my meat and potatoes and carrots. The other pan is going to be for my rice. and cut my onion in half I'll be using half of the onion for my rice and half of the onion for my meat so that's what I'll be doing here is just cutting up my onion and adding it to each pan Calico. Now I'm going to be adding about two cups of white rice and I'm going to be giving that a stir into that butter and onions. And I'm going to be adding three cups of water. adding a little bit of salt I'm just going to put a lid on my rice and lower it down to three now to start cutting up my stew meat all I'm gonna do is cut it up just a little bit smaller than what it comes cooking I'm just going to cut up my potatoes and my carrots I really didn't have to do it I had something else in mind that I was gonna do and I changed my mind I didn't do it after all um, so you really don't have to do this step but all I did was I put the meat in a separate container and then I added my carrots and potatoes to the pan and then I'm gonna add my beef broth um, I don't measure how much 
stuff I use, I'm so sorry. Um, but if I had to measure, it was probably about one fourth cup to half a cup um, of beef broth. And then I added some salt and some pepper. And then all I do is add the meat back to my pan. So you really don't have to do this. You could add all this stuff to the pan that has the meat already in it. You don't have to remove the meat. So I just had to put that out there. So let's continue. <laughs> cover the pan and just cook it until the potatoes and carrots are soft and my rice is all done how you can tell is by seeing that the liquid has now evaporated and then if you move the rice just a bit you'll see a little bit of liquid at the bottom and that's what you want just um, turn off the range place the lid on there and it'll puff up so you'll have some pretty rice here in a bit. Now I'm gonna be working on my Brussels sprouts. I got just the easy um, bird's eye steam fresh Brussels sprouts. They're super easy. I didn't have to cook them. All I have to do is put them in the microwave, super easy. I'm just gonna pour them out into my pan. I'm going to be adding some butter, some garlic, some salt, some pepper, and these things were so delicious. potatoes and carrots are a little bit softened I'm gonna go ahead and add my heavy whipping cream so again I didn't measure how much heavy whipping cream I added again I do apologize um, so all I did was I poured it and I kind of just eyeballed it if I had to measure it would probably be about one fourth cup um, and I just gave that a stir this heavy whipping cream is going to thicken up and it's gonna create like a, a light gravy um, on top of your meat and carrots and potatoes. And it is so delicious. All I did was cover, let it cook for an additional about five minutes. It doesn't take much longer to thicken up. This beats using flour, like to make an actual gravy with flour because flour, you know, is obviously um, less healthy. <laughs> So I used heavy whipping cream to just thicken up um, all that broth that was in there and it created a light gravy and it was so delicious. Y'all are gonna love this. So here's the finished product with my Brussels sprouts, my meat and potatoes and carrots and my rice. I measured everything out. So it's one cup of Brussels sprouts half a cup of rice, and then one cup of um, the meat and potatoes and carrots. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.